Hi everyone, this is TI Kevin83, your host for the PSR 2022 pre-show. I'm going to be walking through all of the runners you're going to be seeing in the marathon for the 2022 PSR showing. I have with me special guest runner, Nerd Squared. Hello. Thanks for joining me, Nerd. Now we're going to show mm -hmm. all the bios. It's going to take a little bit of time here, but... I am hoping it'll build a nice anticipation for our first runner. And that's going to be Naomi Plays doing Pokemon Black any percent. Naomi Plays dropped into the PSR scene two months ago with two runs of Pokemon Black with a big improvement straight off the bat. She has two world records for Here Comes Nico and has also dabbled in Poke Clicker speedrunning. She loves platformers and also loves to do emotes and art for other people over on her Twitter and Kofi. So I'll be excited to see what Naomi plays has for our first run of the whole marathon. Then we have up second Brady Boo with Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure Any Percent. Self-described as the gamer, the funny man, and the monkey man, Brady Boo completed 11 PB runs of Poke Park Any Percent to clutch the 1.5 year standing world record from Whom Is DS, and then broke it three more times. Brady Boo will be showing off their main and world record caliber speed run in PSR Marathon 2022. After Brady Boo's Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure Any% percent Run, we'll have Halkery doing a part of the two-way Pokemon Legends Arceus Any% percent Race. Hailing from Texas, Halkery remains a prolific runner across the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, topping at a world record in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity eight months ago. Halkery will race Shady Gamer X in the new Pokemon Legends Arceus Any% percent Run. Have you gotten to play or watch much of uh, Arceus yet, Nerd Squared? Uh, I've been watching much of it because BDSP has been on the brain, but I know Halkery in particular has put a ton, like a metric craft on a work into this so it'll be nice to see yeah and i'm personally very excited i i uh, really enjoyed playing legends artsy it's one of the most fun pokemon games i've had fun playing with in a long time for a new pokemon game so really excited to mm -hmm. see how that goes with uh, the race against shady gamer x shady gamer x also being a prolific runner of the mystery dungeon games prior to running Legends Arceus. Uh, Shady Gamer X also currently holds the world records for the turbo categories of both Any% percent and Catch 'em All, having posted over 20 unique runs to speedrun.com, and as second in the non-turbo variants. After Shady Gamer X, we'll have Pwned Noob doing new Pokemon Snap Any% percent. Having been pwned a little bit, with fifth place in New Snap, Pwned Noob is one of the top experts of the all Pokemon category for both 1.x and the 2.x major update to New Snap. Before adopting Pokemon's greatest Rails shooter, Pwned Noob got his start speedrunning Clubhouse games with the one Worldwide Classics, also on the Switch, and is a top level expert in Spy Party. <laughs> Pulled that one from the old Twitch bio. <laughs> If you're if you're on this list, I, I probably pulled some quip from your Twitch bio, so might want to update those bios in the future, people. If you've if it's been a while since you've uh, touched your about panel. <laughs> After Pwned Noob does the new Pokemon Snap any percent run, we will have Thomas Patrick WX, affectionately known as T Pat, doing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond any percent glitchless. Coming to you live from KREM2 News, Thomas Patrick WX has taken his meteorology skills to the big screen, dropping world records across the Pokemon series with top times in Omega Ruby Round 2, Let's Go Co-op Diploma with Joker Sleeps, and the run he'll be showing for PSR 2022, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Any% percent Glitchless. And uh, we'll also be seeing his co-op partner Joker Sleeps at the end of the marathon. Nerd, uh, you mentioned being familiar with Brilliant Diamond. What, do you have any extra comments there on T Pat's run? Um, well, I think what I'm looking forward to uh, is not going to be the movement probably because movement in BDSP is hard because like it's a one to one scale of the maps from the original Diamond and Pearl. So combine that with the uh, 
analog stick movement and you have some pretty sticky walls <laughs> so i'm curious to see how i'll manage that that's great that's great moving on from there we will see oh, hold on just a second can you say something again nerd squared hmm. okay we do have audio gardening that's great so moving on go. from thomas patrick wx we have joylin728 doing Pokemon White 2 Manipolis. A shining example of our category extension runners, South Korean Joylin728 streams professionally on Twitch and has podium finishes in the original Diamond Pearl and Black White 2 Manipolis. Joylin will show the White 2 Manipolis run for PSR 2022. Coming up after Joylin, we have Vandio with Pokemon Crystal Extreme Full Item Randomizer in a race against Snorms. On the main boards, Vandia was a top five runner of Pokemon Gold Silver. But what's more fun than speedrunning Pokemon? Extreme full item randomizer races of Pokemon. Vandia will be racing Storms and Crystal with this wacky variant where level up moves, evolutions, move typings, and more are all completely randomized. And then alongside Vandia, we have Snorms. Longtime Pokemon speedrunner from Down Under. Snorms will face off against Vandio, having posted many more runs to Crystal Cadexed Custom Starter lately, but having fallen back on the main boards a bit relative to Vandio. Will the main board or the Cadexed leader prevail? That will be Pokemon Crystal Extreme Full Item Randomizer Race. After that, we have Dirtepich with Pokemon Red Cliff Able Alt Main. Holding first place in eight separate alt main categories, Dirtepich will be showing off his world record Pokemon Red alt main Clefable speedrun, the popularity of which picked up a bit over the last year after Clefable briefly being used in the series of TAS improvements to Pokemon Red Blue glitchless. Have you gotten to see much of those TASs, Nerd Squared? Actually. It's weird you mentioned that, because just earlier today I watched Abyssoft's World record progression on the tasks. Oh, that was so awesome. I really appreciated working with Abyssoft on that world record yeah, progression. Yeah. So yeah, um their type of doing Red Cliff Alt Beam Clefable, that having picked up in popularity due to being used in one of those tasks. So super excited to see that uh, moving into the uh, popularity of the category extension scene and also being featured in the marathon. I love seeing those Cadex runs in the marathon. Mm-hmm. Then after Dirtepich, we'll have Zeboos as part of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky 10 Dungeon Blitz Randomizer Race. Zeboos calls himself a Chilean dude who plays games sometimes fast. We'll be Gucci with Zeboos as he races three others through a 10 Dungeon Blitz Randomizer of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Zeboos is currently just behind legendary runner whom is DS in fifth in the emulator category for Explorers of Sky 80% No Wonder Mail. Now, interestingly, a lot of the runners I'll be mentioning here for PMD Explorers of Sky don't necessarily have runs posted in PMD Explorers of Sky, but they all have runs posted across uh, various PMD games. So it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out in the race. But second up, then, we'll have Epic Yoshi Master as part of the race. World record holder in several of the co-op categories of A Hat in Time, Epic Yoshi Master is also an avid glitch hunter for the game CrossCode. They'll be venturing into mysterious territory, having not posted many Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky runs, uh, by joining the other three runners for the Explorers of Sky rando race. The next runner listed there is Gniffle. Danish runner Gniffle posted their first speed run this last year, starting out in fifth place on the emulator board for PMD Explorers of Time Darkness, but can frequently be seen streaming Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Randomizers on Twitch, making them a perfect fit in for the 10 Dungeon Blitz race. Rounding out the four PMD Explorers of Sky runners, who all hail from different main speedrun games, we have Strife Sata having posted runs for PMD Rescue Team DX for the Switch. But Strifesetta has been practicing Explorers of Sky runs on Twitch leading up to the marathon, so we'll see who can clinch the win in that four-way race. 
after the PMD race, we have Quo with Pokemon Snap any percent. Canadian Quo has taken the world record in Snap several times in 2015, 2017, and 2019 before a gun lap snagged the top time in 2020. A friend of Speed Docs, Quo adventured to my native Michigan last month after I was sadly unable to comment on his 250k run during SGDQ 2022. Quo holds world records in many of the any percent 100% and 250k points categories across all the N64, Wii VC, and Wii U VC variants, having stamped his name as a leader in Pokemon Snap. Super excited to see Quo there. Are you very familiar with the Pokemon Snap runs, Nerd Squared? Uh, no, but I actually want to do a quick callback to the PMD run you just talked about. For sure, uh, yes. It's nice, yeah, it's nice to see that series get representation because... Uh, PMD was actually the first Pokemon game I ever really picked up as a speedrun before I started running it oh, series sweet. seriously in uh, 2015 with ORS. Very cool. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a separated community. Uh, always has been yeah. from the rest of PSR, but it's really great to see them uh, submitting to our marathon. So really excited to see that mm -hmm. race there. And then, yeah, after the PMD Explorers of Sky, we have Quo's run. Then after Quo, we have Iron. Iron being a massive, massive name in the ROM hack scene. Iron is another Canadian runner, dropping with a Pokemon Fire Gold any percent run. Iron will be showing a relatively new ROM hack in Pokemon Fire Gold. Iron has run dozens of Pokemon ROM hacks and category extension categories. An engineer by day. Iron enjoys the routing that goes into the less and thorough uh, the, the less thoroughly explored ROM hack scene. After Iron, we have a massive, massive race of Pokemon Yellow Any% percent No Save Corruption. Starting with Stokey, we have a runner hailing from northeastern Italy, having repeatedly shown the intense precision and glitch knowledge needed to hold top times in the Any% percent and NSC categories of Pokemon Yellow and Gold Silver. Stokey currently holds the records in Yellow Reverse Badge Order and Pokemon Gold Any% percent No Ace. Also, having second place in both Yellow Any% percent and the race we'll be seeing of Pokemon Yellow NSC. Then, second up for our racers for NSC, we have Wan Lee Ways. Having stepped down from his formerly priestly ways, Mr. Wanley Ways will be going back in gens from his recent third place in Fire Red Any% percent to race for the pride of his current world record, being the key man in Yellow NSC. Sadly, we don't see Mankey used there, though. Wanley Ways also has a prominent second place in the Manipulous Glitchless Classic category of Pokemon Yellow behind only the long-standing record from Ixarian. We'll see if Wanli weighs chickens out or can top with Mankey style in this NSC race. Next up, we have Kurt with the last of the three runners for the yellow any percent race. Rounding out the race is Massachusetts runner Kurt. Kurt is currently third in yellow NSC, making this a true podium race between the current top three runners. Kurt is also an expert in the heavily glitched Emerald Any% percent run and dabbles outside Pokemon in Lego Island 2 GBA and Stardew Valley, which I love to see because Lego Island was one of my first games I played on the PC back in the day. So very great to see some runners dabbling outside the Pokemon scene as well in the larger speedrunning community. After that, we have Randall Leeds Cheese with Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green blindfolded Brock. Cowabunga, dude! Let's venture over to Californian runner Randall Eats Cheese, whose cheese-eating has apparently blinded him for his run just through Brock in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. <laughs> that, that was a fun one to write. I, I, I enjoyed that one. <laughs> We're going to be dropping these as tweets as the runners go through uh, the run, so... Watch out and, and make sure to up. Uh, it's not upvote on Twitter. It's, it's like on Twitter and share those as we uh, drop all these great descriptions of our amazing runners for the Pokemon Speedrun Marathon. Yeah. But uh, Randall also has the emulator record in Pokemon Coliseum coming in just behind the top console times. 
So really, a uh, really great runner in Reign of Leeds Cheese. We'll be excited to see that Cadex to Blindfolded Brock run. After Reign of Leeds Cheese, we have New Amber doing Pokemon Sword Shield Trade Alt Main with Aspect and Greta Ice Fixin. The first of our three Sword and Shield Trade Alt Main runners is Amber, a Canadian runner who has ran multiple Pokemon games in the past. They are currently second in Shield Any% percent 1.2.0 plus and have multiple records for Trade Alt Mains. Amber also has second place in the all-obtainable Pokemon run in Let's Go Pikachu. And we'll also see the first place runner from that later in the marathon as well. So some really great uh, Switch runner representation with our first runner, New Amber, in the Sword Shield trade Alt main race. Then second up, we have Aspect. Having gotten into the speedrunning scene with Sword Shield two years ago, Australian runner Aspect has mastered world records in many trade Alt main trade alt main categories, and is sure to put up solid competition for the race in PSR 2022. Lastly, rounding out the Sword Shield trade alt main race, we have Greta Ice Fixin. Another runner brought in from the Switch speedrunning scene. Greta Ice Fixin got her start with the Let's Go games before placing all over the podium of Sword Shield category extension runs. Greta has also dabbled in speedruns of Mario Kart 8, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and Hatsune Miku. Next up, we have my co-commentator for the pre-show, Nerd Squared, doing Pokemon yep. Shining Pearl any percent. <laughs> a veteran runner of over seven years, Nerd Squared has put aside getting jump-scared in Slender to relax a bit with speedruns of the latest Pokemon installment before Legends Arceus, Pokemon Shining Pearl. Hopefully Nerd Squared's expert skill in the Crash Percent category doesn't carry over to his marathon run. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned the crash part because it's actually I've actually gotten it to a point where I'm so consistent with this category that we should hopefully avoid stuff like that happening unless there's like a freak accident. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, quick comment on that as well. This game with it and it like it coming out when it did was pure happenstance because after Sword and Shield came out, I went on a bit of a hiatus with Pokemon speed running and then BDSP brought me back in. Very cool. I uh, stopped playing casually around the original Diamond Pearl time. So I'm very interested to, at some point, play through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and get that experience of one of those last games I enjoyed as a child again. So I, I do appreciate them remaking those games, and uh, I'm excited to see how you break them with the any percent category. <laughs> Can you uh, fill me in quick here? So I know they patched a bunch of the glitches. Do you, Are you stuck on an older patch, or are you doing glitches on the latest patch? Yes, I'm playing on a down-patched version, which, uh, the, for reference, the glitches work on 1.1.0 or 1.1.1, and I'm playing on a 1.1.1, which makes things very interesting because uh, there's a lot of saving and exiting in the run. So mm -hmm. not only do, so you yeah, end up having to deal with the Switch home menu UI, so there's been there's been plenty of horror stories of a lot of glitch runners, myself included, accidentally downloading. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. So after Nerd Squared, we have an amazing run from They Are Chris doing Pokemon trading card game GBC any percent glitchless Bulbasaur. Not impressed with the recent slew of glitches discovered in Pokemon TCG, They Are Chris dived into TCG's glitchless category climbing all the way up the board to second place with 15 unique runs posted over the last two years we'll get to see how this runner from the windy city handles tcg in a live setting after they are chris we have evanesia the first of our four-way Coliseum Any% percent Razors, Norwegian runner Evanesia, got her start a year ago with the Hat and Time speedruns, rising rapidly to recently having posted an extremely impressive run of the nearly 20-hour-long 100% category of Pokemon Coliseum XD. After Evanesia, we have Ryzakin, a thorough veteran of PSR Marathon. Ryzakin showed Coliseum Any% percent at PSR Marathon 2018, has third in any percent at present, and recently improved the record of XD to the 4 hour and 24 minute mark. So Ryzik, having gone through the whole uh, series of improvements that Coliseum has seen with the um, RNG manipulations having been found in that game, and so being very familiar with the whole 
uh, gamut of any percent runs, uh, I expect Ryzekin to show a very impressive Coliseum run for our marathon. Also, Ryzekin has done three total PSR marathon runs, at least having run in, I think, 2016 or 2015, and even more recently than 2018 as well. So very excited to see uh, Ryzekin's run there. After Ryzekin, uh, as part of the four-way Coliseum race, we still have Zikiki, Canadian world record Monopoly N64 speedrunner Zikiki will show his hand in Kalo Any% percent speedruns, joining the four-way race. Zikiki has been speedrunning various titles for more than six years, closely following Ryzekin's eight years across speedrunning, and has posted 16 leaderboard runs of Kalo Any% percent in, that, in those six years. So very, very excited for this level of competition to show up in the marathon. After Zikiki, we have our last of the four Coliseum runners, the only one, our, uh, our last Pokemon Coliseum runner, only one, or simply one on SRZ, is also a top runner of the 100% category, but for Kahlo, as opposed to Evanesia's XD 100%. Will one of the 100% experts claim any percent supremacy, or will one of the storied veterans of the early days of Coliseum stamp their name? and marathon race history. That's Evanesia, Ryzakin, Zikiki, and the only one racing in Pokemon Coliseum, any percent. Next up, we have Moy Guy doing Pokemon Diamond, any percent glitchless, Piplup percent. I just caught Moy Guy's stream to ask them a bit about this run. So, new runner to the PSR leaderboards and PSR marathon in the last few years, Moy Guy actually started running Oras a while back when it was released, but put down speedrunning for a while until dropping po runs of Pokemon Platinum and Black White during the COVID quarantine period. Moy Guy will show his Piplup gamer status by sticking to Piplup in Diamond Any% percent Glitchless. After Moy Guy, we have Fortunate Neil with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Any% percent, another new runner to the PSR scene. Fortunate on SRC has been fortunate in climbing the emulator leaderboard for Oras, but has dropped a bit, making the switch to console runs recently and dropping a bit of time. But they have also posted an any percent time in Diamond Pearl and a glitchless run of Platinum. So very excited to see Fortunate Neil's summing of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire any percent. After Fortunate Neil is your friend Andy with Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire, Defeat Rayquaza. Prolific on SRC as my name is Andy, our friend, your friend Andy, currently has second place in Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire, Defeat Rayquaza, using the Sapphire table. Your friend Andy has also maxed 200 mil experience in multiple skills in old school RuneScape under the handle CPT Andu, and has most recently been setting records in DS Clubhouse games. But... Uh, actually, your friend Andy is um, <laughs> SRC profile is insane. Uh, they have posted tons and tons of runs on SRC, so I, I had I had fun pulling out a couple examples there, and really excited to see the Pokemon Pinball run there in the the PSR marathon. After that, we have Primal Pizza with Pokemon Blue Baton Pass. Not content to beat Gen 1 Pokemon the usual way by steamrolling all the trainers with just one Pokemon, Primal Pizza will show off the Baton Pass run of Pokemon Blue in which each major battle is defeated with a new main Pokemon. Primal Pizza currently holds second place in Baton Pass for Red Blue and has an incredible thumbnail for his Red Glitchless run featured on SRC. So make sure to check out Primal Pizza's speedrun.com profile for that thumbnail. Yeah, actually, as you were reading one of the previous descriptions, I looked at his profile to see that thumbnail, and it's amazing. <laughs> there are some really quality ones. I really love... Um... Uh, shenanigans uh shenanigans is a similar theming sometimes to like the, the the half baked uh backdrop pictures so really appreciate that uh the lime films after primal pizza will be doing 
Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver any percent Manipolis, a podium finisher, and Heart Gold Soul Silver on emulator New Yorker The Lime Films has been prolific in the category extension scene for Heart Gold Soul Silver over the past two years and currently holds the record in the 100% category of the remake of Link's Awakening for the Switch. After, or actually not after, but alongside Tucker Lorat, and it will be the Lime Films. We have the Lime Films on Tucker Lorat Racing, Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Any Percent Manipolis, Ratatouille Stan and Rat Gamer from the East Coast. Tucker the Rat currently holds many records across Heart Gold Soul Silver's main leaderboard. In addition to his records in the Manipolis Cat X board, will a Lime or a Rat win this Manipolis race? We will have to see. Then after that race, we have Ranger Squid with Pokemon Yellow Alt Main Glitchless. Pioneering the TAS Alt Main scene, Ranger Squid, not content with his previous TAS, has been iterating on new routes for Butterfree and will be showing his latest updates, hopefully with the addition of them being on console. Uh, that meaning we have a, a stack of the Game Boy interface, the wrapper for the Game Boy player on the GameCube, and we can actually use that Game Boy interface to inject inputs into the Game Boy player and verify that a task made on an emulator plays back the same way on console hardware. Uh, going kind of like the pinnacle of verification that a task is accurate and actually possible on the original game. So I'm super excited to help commentate in the background with Ranger Squid's Pokemon Yellow Alt Main Glitchless run. After Ranger Squid, we have Wave Warrior showing Pokemon Emerald any percent glitchless, causing waves of amazement. With years of smashing world records, Wave Warrior remains one of the most versatile runners in GBA Pokemon speedrunning, having topped podiums all over Gen 1 to 3 and has even set a record in Pokemon Sword Shield any percent. Having set both the any percent and glitchless Emerald records in the last year, Wave Warrior will demonstrate a marathon setting for Emerald at the top level of GBA Pokemon speedrunning strategy and skill. After Wave Warrior, we have Mockwing. Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green Elite Four Round 2 will be shown with the Charizard starter. While Wave Warrior may be an expert across much of Gen 1 to 3, he is no match for Mockwing's fifth place in Fire Red Leaf Green E4 Round 2. Wave Warrior being a bit behind there than from the fifth place. Aspiring God Gamer Mockwing will be showing a unique approach, forcing Charizard for a main through the Elite Four Round 2 and adding to the Californian represent representation of our runners in PSR 2022. After Mockwing, we have Joker Sleeps doing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Bootleg Ash. The equivalent of the Pokemon Yellow Ash percent as pioneered by Ixarian. Bootleg Ash has the runner follow the footsteps of Ash to a T while journeying through Let's Go's interpretation of the Kanto region. Joker Sleeps, uniquely, has run the diploma category of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu with 13 different people. And he might not say it, but he is a world record in older in a couple of those categories as well, as mentioned earlier from one of the previous runners. So super excited to see Joker sleeps in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu bootleg Ash run. After Joker sleeps to cap off PSR 2022, we have head Bob underscore with Pokemon XY any percent. Six-year speedrunning veteran Head Bob has spent the last year cementing records across newer Gen Pokemon games, having locked the record in Omega Ruby any percent on New 3DS six months ago, while spraying seven alt main records in Pokemon X and Y, dropping a second place on the main XY board on New 3DS, and having just three weeks ago dropped a new world record in Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon any percent on the new 3DS. He'll be revisiting that second place XY run with a live marathon run of any percent Pokemon X and Y to cap off PSR 2022. And I want to give a personal shout out to Head Bob. 
a couple of years ago, I remember Head Bob uh, being available when I needed somebody to talk to in the PSR Discord just to blow off some steam and, and have a nice chat streaming together with somebody. So I really appreciate Head Bob for his continued presence in the Pokemon speedrunning scene. He is a great person, and I'd love to see uh, his presence in the Pokemon XY any percent run rounding off the marathon. Nerd Square, do you got anything else to add before we close out this recording? Uh, I think it's just interesting to see all these runs on the schedule because uh, I think it was, it was mentioned earlier during my own bio that I'm a veteran. I've been around here for a while, since 2015. Uh, and the thing is with this marathon at the time, back when I was first getting started, you saw a lot of familiar faces like Shen and Keys and a bunch of other names you might recognize. But with these newer marathons, and granted it might be because I've been out of the loop for a few years, but there's a lot of fresh faces in this one. So it's nice to see that. Yes, I'm a super big fan of exactly that same thing. We have a huge variety in this marathon of both yeah. storied faces with tons of records and new people just getting their feet wet in the scene. So I'm, I'm loving to see that. I'm super excited to myself. I've been a runner since 2016 in various capacities, having moved into the task scene quite a bit. So super excited to continue contributing here. Thank you so much watch for watching. Thank you so much. Nerd squared for helping with some color commentary here. And uh, let's throw it to the marathon starting tomorrow make sure to watch i will have linked in the, my youtube description here uh all of the info on how to get to watch the pokemon speedrunning marathon and uh, come join us for a weekend of amazing runs